Alright, so I'm going to show you the most accessible way to degrease. There are other methods, but this is the only one I would recommend for anyone who's just getting into this or who doesn't want to spend a lot of money or worry about things like how to dispose of dangerous chemicals. And I'm going to be honest, this method is not the best method when you have an excessively greasy skull like the one I have here. This pronghorn antelope is extremely greasy, like the camera's lightening a little, but that's almost black right there just from grease. So we're keeping this cheap. This is a ice cream bucket container I was given. So I've got some black duct tape here. I'm going to use this to tape around the entire container so that way um, heat will be more attracted to it and it'll also be darker, which for a whitening step using hydrogen peroxide, you wanna have it be in the dark because the sunlight will degrade the hydrogen peroxide. So um, I'm clearly not going for the aesthetic, but it's done. Now, I'm sure some of you have probably figured out that yes, I chose a container that is too small for my specimen. Um, again, I'm just using what's available to me. I didn't want to go out and buy any containers or anything for this, so I can always just flip the skull or I can figure out something better later, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to stick with this. So this is very simple and we're just going to use two ingredients. Dawn dish soap. Um, people say that there's a clear Dawn dish soap out there. I've yet to see it in my stores and I just went out and looked, could not find it. So, but the blue one works fine, but it can sometimes cause your bones to turn blue. So just something to be mindful. So we'll use that and hot water. As far as I'm aware, there is no exact ratio to go off of. Just measure with your heart. So we've just gone ahead, stuck the skull in, and what we're gonna do next is set this out in a sunny, warm spot so it'll keep that water warm. Um, it's nighttime right now, so hold on. So there we go, we've got our maceration bucket in a nice sunny spot. You can see that the water's already starting to get cloudy. That means that the grease is being pulled out of the bones, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of days, then I'm gonna change the water, and I will continue that process until the water is no longer cr cloudy, until it stays clear after I change it. You can add a lid for this process. The thing is, I used a container that's too small, so I can't. Once the water starts running clear, what I'll be doing is taking the bones out, completely drying them, and then assessing them to see if the grease is actually removed, um, looking for any of those dark spots or any kind of a weird smell. If I don't notice any of that, then we're good. If I do notice any of that, we just do it again. And when assessing your bones like that, it is crucial that you dry them completely before checking. Um, same thing with the whitening steps. You always want to dry them completely to see if it's as white as you want, because when bones are wet, they're going to look darker. I hope this tutorial was helpful for y'all, and if not, uh, there's plenty of resources, just Google them, they're out there.